Hey guys, my name is Reham Hamid and I am a 7th and 8th grade math teacher in Ocala, Florida. So, today I'm going to be talking about my given topic which is Multiple Intelligence Theory by Howard Gardner. And in this theory, um, actually before we actually talk about this theory, I'm going to be talking about um, intelligence. So when you think about intelligence, you want to talk about somebody's intellectual intelligence, which is normal but before this theory was actually discovered people people would measure somebody's intellectual intelligence by giving them an IQ test now if you scored high on the IQ test people would think of you as somebody who would potentially succeed in life but if you scored low on the IQ test people would deem you to be a failure Howard Gardner decided to study psychology focusing on the human brain and when he did that he he discovered that there's actually more than one type of intelligence. He discovered seven different categories of intelligence that the IQ test fails to recognize. The seven categories to multiple intelligence theory are logical mathematical intelligence is one, verbal linguistics intelligence, body kinesthetic intelligence, musical intelligence, visual, or spatial intelligence, and then the last two are interpersonal intelligence and intrapersonal intelligence. They sound alike, but they're not. First, we're gonna be talking about logical mathematical intelligence. So in this category are people who are very logical, who can take tests and do great on them, who can critically think, who can look at graphs and pick the important parts and completely understand it and who are very very organized so people who fall into this category are people who actually succeed in jobs like analyst banker engineer researcher statistician even computer programmer so those are the type of people who fall into the category of logical mathematical intelligence the next category is verbal linguistics. So people who fall into verbal linguistics can understand poems, who can understand how words rhyme and they can create words together to make uh, a pattern. They are people who stand out from others because they can learn le other languages very, very quickly and who can easily articulate thoughts in words in uh, on in writing or in actual real life talk so people who fall in this category tend to take part in becoming a poet lawyer historian tv host writer or even um, a translator or an editor the next category is bodily kinesthetic intelligence so in bodily kinesthetic intelligence are people who, who have a very good and strong handle of their body and their body movements um, and they can use objects very skillfully so people who fall in this category do well in jobs like dancer physical therapists even football players um, and PE teachers um, and sign language interpreters. So those type of people who have very, very well control over their body have a body kinesthetic intelligence. The next group or category is musical intelligence. And this is kind of obvious, but just to go through the um, definition and the summarization, musical intelligence is a person who can understand rhythmic and harmonic music who can interpret sound and rhythm and tone and pitch and understand the level in a way most of us can't. And the type of people who fall in this category do well in jobs like acoustic engineer, um, a DJ or a entertainer, a um, composer or a singer, a producer, a voice coach, or um, a person who just deals with musical instruments. So our next category is um, visual intelligence. So visual intelligence is someone who can visualize something in their mind's eye. So basically, if you're giving them a maze, they can visualize without actually doing it, they can visualize the path that they're supposed to be going. Even Gardner says it's to the point where people who have visual intelligence can just look at a distance and make an almost accurate 
assumption of what that distance is. So people who fall in this category do very well in jobs like artists as an engineer, a graphic designer, um, an inventor, a city planner, and a landscape artist. Our last two topics are ones that sound almost alike, but they're completely opposite from each other. Interpersonal intelligence are people who can understand others' emotions, who can conform to social norms, who are receptive to people's moods, and um, are people who can make an emotional change, like be a person who um, uplifts the mood. So if you are somebody who can uplift the mood easily, then you have traits in the interpersonal intelligence category. So people who have or fall in, under this category are people who can succeed in jobs like caregiving or counseling or um, a coach or a teacher or a therapist or an advertiser. The last category is intrapersonal. So intrapersonal intelligence is one of those intelligence that people have a hard time really understanding. So intrapersonal is really um, an intelligence where a person really understands themselves. So they can understand their own feelings and understand how to control their feelings, what their feelings actually mean, what affects their feelings. They can really understand what their strengths are, what their weaknesses are. And people who um, fall into this category are kind of different than everybody else. They're very quiet to themselves, somebody who likes to stay at home, somebody who's very spiritual. And the type of jobs that they fit in are alternative jobs, like jobs where they can take part in spiritual acts, like dancing, writing poetry, singing, um, doing some type of ritual. These are the type of people that fall into interpersonal intelligence. So those are the seven categories to multiple intelligence theory. Everybody falls into one of these categories and even multiple, but you will be dominant in some of them. There's a link in the down bar that lets you take a test and um, see what kind of category you fall into. So there's it's a multiple choice test and you just read the question and answer it through the multiple choices. And at the end you submit it and it estimates what categories you would fall under. In the discussion below, I want you guys to write about like, did you, after taking the test, did you find the results to be what you thought they were gonna be? Or were you a little bit surprised on what came up. So I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something. Thanks for watching. Bye.